Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. You're listening to the Never A Straight Answer Christmas Conspiracy Calendar. New episodes every day during the month of Christmas. And here's your hosts, Gaz and Taylor. Hello and welcome to Five Gold Rings. Episode 5 of our Christmas Advent calendar. Christmas Conspiracy calendar. And yeah... We're on for day five. I hope you've uh, you peeled it back nice and easy, got the chocolate out, and uh, you know, now you're going to enjoy it. You're going to enjoy the chocolate like it's a nice treaty treat. So come on, Taylor, how's it been going, day five? Day how do you five? Think, how do you think the advent calendar's going so far? Yeah, it's going all right as far as uh, I believe. Mm, good stuff. Think? I think it's been going all right. Yeah. We've got some con- more conspiracy stuff coming up ooh, yeah, in the are. next couple of episodes. Ooh, so yeah. ooh, look forward to that. Okay, so go on, up. have you got any um, facts or treats for us today? I have a pretty weird one, actually. Go on. It turns out that the likelihood that the water that you're drinking right now contains at least one mil- mo- molecule... One million molecule... molecule of water that once passed through a dinosaur. Passed through a dinosaur? Yeah, Any particular 100%. type? 100%. 100%? Yeah. Well, they said that. I've heard this fact before where it says, oh, yeah, you've passed, you know, you're, you've drank water that's technically passed through the body of, yeah. you know, a relative or kind of somebody else. Yeah, another yeah. human being. Yeah. Yeah. So it does make sense. Yeah, that I can see that, but... Yeah, and considering how much water's on the planet, it's only like, what, 4% of actual drinking water? Uh, Yeah, 4% drinking water, the rest is, uh, well, I suppose you could call it pollutant. Well, it it could be, you can't call it maybe not pollutant, but like... I don't uh, know, we've done so much damage. Seawater, salt water, undrinkable. Yeah. Yeah, do you know what I mean? And I think that the ocean, you could make it drinkable. There's actually, um, I think it is in Dubai where they've got a machine where it it does like... Dubai's got a bit of everything. Four swimming pools uh, an hour. Fucking hell. Yeah. Really? Fresh water, yeah. And then they, they, they... Convert seawater. Yeah. Well, what? This is my problem, right? Why are they not taking this technology to you know third world countries? Well, it, uh, I suppose it's in its uh, stages. Um, what? Well, where it's only we can only use it for the super rich. Hey, look, uh, like um, like um, uh, big corporations now are like saving water. They're actually buying containers full of water and storing it because they know that later on it's going to be a high property value. Can they do that? Yeah, they're doing it now. Well, why don't we do that? Well, got water. If you want to buy Never a Straight Answer bottle of water, then, you know... Yeah. Coca-Cola's get in, get bought the biggest amount at the moment. Straight from Taps in yeah. Manchester. Yeah, that's it, man. Straight out at Ship Canal. Yeah, well, better than the stuff in London, because it's been used seven times before they even drink it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. Well... There well, you there's go. your facts for today. Then. Is that your only fact? Yeah, Have you not got is. another one. I have on the fifth episode. On the fifth one, I I'll, thought that was I'll, big I'll, enough, I've don't you? A, I've got another one. I will give you another quick one, just go on, to, uh, go on. You know, just a quick, a tantalising. They are Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Yeah, was um, invented in the US, um, basically as a Christmas promotion in 1938. Oh shit. Yeah, there you go. So Rudolph was actually uh, see this is most of, most of it is co- corporate capitalism, isn't it? Yeah. Not to bring it down or anything. Yeah. No. But like no. it's true. Yeah. 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 Um, in fact, I've got a, I've got a story coming up in a in a coming upcoming episode about how much money actually is spent over Christmas. Oh. So yes. you know, um, oh, on, on prezzies and whatnot. Yes. So yeah, there you go. Well, there was episode five of our Christmas Advent Calendar, Christmas Conspiracy yeah. Calendar. We'll catch you next time. I've Here been Gaz. I've been Taylor. Peace. Out You've been listening to an episode of Never A Straight Answers Christmas Conspiracy Calendar. I've been your host, Gaz, and joined in the studio, my co-host, Mr. Taylor. If you've got any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can email us at neverastraightanswer at gmail.com or perhaps visit the website at neverastraightanswer.co.uk. From there, you can check out downloadable episodes, news, blogs, reviews, competitions, and much, much more besides. We'll be counting down the Christmas season with a new episode 
every day in our Christmas conspiracy calendar, plus a very special freestyle episode on the 21st of December where we'll be answering your Christmas questions. So, if you've not subscribed already, get over to wherever you get your podcast fix and do just that, and we'll catch you on the very next episode of Never A Straight Answer. I've been Gaz, he's been Taylor, and we'll catch you next time. Peace. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.